This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, December 12th, 2013. Now, our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. So at noon today, we have the west to northwesterly flow aloft across the area. Some energy across Canada into New England is going to bring a little bit of activity to that part of the country. But around here, it's going to be warming up at least. Highs will be, well, in the 20s across the state, maybe upper teens in the far northeast after bottoming out last evening below zero in many areas. It looks to also remain a little bit warm on Friday, high still in the 20s, maybe a few low 30s are possible, but an increase in clouds will be also likely as the storm system will be bringing moisture up from the south. Another push of cold air coming in from the north, that could bring a little bit of snow activity to the state. Friday night into Saturday, accumulations are going to be fairly light, at least less than two inches possible, mainly over the east and south. And then thereafter, it just gets cold again. Highs will likely drop back into the upper teens to low to mid-20s. Sunday, it'll be warming up a little as moderation takes a hold again. Winds out of the south and west. A frontal system will be moving through Minnesota and Wisconsin. But unfortunately, that same system is also going to drag a cold front through the state mainly late on Monday that could drop the temperatures back down once again. But here on Monday, temperatures likely still remaining hmm, just a scotch under seasonal levels. But unfortunately, by Tuesday, it ain't near seasonal levels anymore. It's back down into the probably teens to lower 20s, wind chills nearing zero again. No precipitation around here for Tuesday. Wednesday, as high pressure moves in, we could see our coldest morning Wednesday morning of next week. Lows likely below zero once again, or at least in the single digits. Lake effects snow across the Great Lakes. Another system coming in from the north and west, that'll be coming in here next Thursday. You can see the trough axis off to our west with the energy along it. The flow is now almost west to west southwesterly. But this is going to bring what could be blizzard conditions to the northern plains into Montana, Wyoming. Warm air is going to filter in as well. We could see temperatures maybe approaching the freezing mark, but it ain't going to last, unfortunately. Because when we take a look at the extended period, the flow is now coming out of the northwest. And if you follow the lines, it's coming straight out of the Arctic Ocean. With a polar vortex over Hudson Bay, that's just going to dump the cold air in. And with little bouts of snowfall, including another one at this point, just to our northwest, we could get bouts of some light, dry, fluffy snow, maybe a few every few days, this being the 23rd. Well, highs will likely be maybe in the teens, if, if we're even lucky. At the end of the forecast, the 27th, that polar vortex is still over the northern part of Hudson Bay. That's just keeping the rush of cold air down. The Polar Express is just running through here with daily nonstop uh, cold pushes down and looks like more snow moving in. Light at best across the area as another high pressure moves in and temperatures still remaining well below average. Going into the satellite image from last evening, we had that storm, another storm off to our northwest over Canada into the Pacific North and West. We had a few clouds around here and the stream out of the Southwest into, Mex into Mexico and South Texas. Watch morning map from last evening was fairly calm. We had some wind chill advisories in the upper Midwest and upper Mississippi River Valley, hard freeze warning in the San Joaquin Valley in California, and some winter weather issues across the Great Lakes especially the eastern Great Lakes. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 6 o'clock, showing very little precipitation around here, mainly combined over the southeast and eastern counties of the state. Elsewhere, it'll be fairly wet.